Uh, good morning. I, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear you clearly. Okay. Um, you know, we, we were here a few weeks ago to discuss this issue, and we I raised the, the point that um, it has to go down to the people, to the grassroots, and the way and manner that the ET was conducting its exercise would end up this, um, you know, enfranchising or not getting as many people as they want to actually register. Be that as it may, it's gone ahead with this exercise and it will become very clear at the end of the day when they compile their numbers that even the one point something million um, um, potential voters that they were looking to add onto the road, they are not going to reach that number. So it then calls into question that the purpose of doing this exercise in the first place. And then secondly, when you look at it, even in terms of value for money um, and things like that, again, there are question marks uh, around, around that. I would have wished that they would give a couple of days extension to allow people that want to register to register. But if they go on this trajectory, it is going to be very clear that the numbers that they're looking to get for this current um, exercise would not be met. The EC has made it clear that its intention is not to capture everybody at this time and that there will be another opportunity next year. So why should we be so fixated in, the, in wanting to have everybody who must register, register this window? But, but people are registering this year because they want to possibly vote in the upcoming district level elections. That's right. Right? And then you've got the national election next year. The two are different um, uh, events. So I, I struggle to accept the view being compounded by the um, EC and others that, oh, well, you have another opportunity. So wait till next year, and then you can register for the national election. So what, in essence, they are saying or telling Ghanaians is that the national elections is even more important than the district level election. And in the process of doing this, you actually end up disenfranchising. You're not getting people that should be on the road to vote at the district level elections. Um, and that, I think, is not a good thing to be doing. But they, they, they say what is the fact, that district level elections are not, you don't have too many people participating in them. Is it because yeah, it, this time it coincides with the registration before it that we are trying to make, you know, this, all of this noise? People don't turn up or register as much, but that does not mean that you should use administrative processes, protocols, etc., to try and prevent them from one, registering, and then number two, exercising that democratic right that has been given to them. That, that is the fundamental point. So as to whether people will turn up or not, that is not the issue. The issue is that you need to give them an avenue and a fair chance for them to register. And to the extent that people are queuing, they come in two days, three days, they are not able to register, and you have an intransigent position that says that we'll close it and we're not going to open it up or even give anybody the opportunity to do so for the purposes of the district election, I think that is problematic. Mm. Uh, Duke, 